Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can attach a cloth to a metahuman character. And this tutorial is not for beginners. I assume that you have a good understanding of Autodesk Maya because I'm not going to explain every tool that I'm using and I'll try to just show the workflow. So if you have seen the previous tutorial that the link is below in the description. You can watch this tutorial if you want to. Um, you know that this mesh is called combined and it helps us to uh, attach cloth to metahuman character. And this is the cloth that I have provided for this character. So the first thing I'm going to do is to um, skin this cloth and I'm going to select body joints, select members, and skin, bind skin. Actually, I forgot to select the cloth. While I select the joint, I need to shift click and select the cloth and skin and bind skin. And as you can see, the skin is bind, but it's not correct. We need to copy the, the skin from the character. I select the character and cloth and skin and copy skin. Now, now the skin is much better, but this is the familiar uh, problem with every cloth that we have. And to fix that, I'm going to select these edges that are not correct and just the edges and expand, expand the selection a little bit, like five step, one, two, three, four, five. So I can grab um, the surrounding vertices and I convert the selection to vertex. And I'm going to use a tool called Hammer that in under skin menu. And I have already um, uh, put the uh, put the tool on the shelf so I can use it here. So I'm going to use the tool and press this button and it fixed the problem. I'm going to do the same thing for the other arm. One, two, three, four, five. and it fixes the problem. Now back it to zero. And if you look at the belt, later I'll, I'll uh, address this problem too. If you look at the belt, the belt is stretching, but it is a solid uh, object and I don't want it to be, to be stretched. So what I'm going to do is to select a vertex and from skin menu, copy vertex weight, and I'm going to select the entire belt and this guy, this guy, and probably this guy, or actually, um, yeah, I can isolate it and Deselect the faces that I don't want. And I'm going to skin and paste. Now, as you can see, the belt is not stretching anymore. And to fix this problem for uh, hips, I have already provided two geometries that I'm going to unhide them. As you can see, I have provided two geometries, one of them called cage no edge loop and the other one cage with edge loop. 
The only difference is that I just deleted the edge loop in the middle of this, uh, of this geometry. The first thing I'm going to do is to uh, skin the no edge loop geometry and I'm hiding the other one. I'm going to select body joints, the geometry and skin, bind skin and select the body, geometry, skin and copy skin weights. And now I'm going to copy um, the copy the skin of this the no edge loop to with edge loop. And the reason is that because it has no edge loop, it kind of behaves like a cloth. And I'm going to skin this geometry, select body joints, select geometry, skin, bind skin and selecting uh, no edge loop and then edge loop and skin and copy skin. So I don't need the no edge loop one and this is the edge loop one. It's kind of behaved like a cloth but as you can see here we have a problem. To fix this problem I'm going to use um, the former that called tension. I'm going to apply tension the former to this geometry and I am going to uncheck pin borders and smoothing step should be one iteration 100 and I'm going to remove constraint and as you can see, this geometry behaves like a cloth. And now we need to bake the deformer to skin because you can't export deformers to Unreal. In order to do that, we need to hide this skeleton set that's called root DRV in DRV and this skeleton actually is not bind to this geometry there is another skeleton that is hidden by default that is called DH root body root this is the skeleton that is attached to the body and this skeleton is driven by the other skeleton so what I'm going to do is select this geometry and unlock the geometry and I'm going to detach some of the joints and I'm going to grab the geometry and the pelvis and duplicating it and putting it away now what I'm going to do is to bake the deformation or actually the deformer to joints. Now um, I'm going to skin menu and the last um, option says bake deformation to skin weights and I'm bringing this and for source for source mesh I select this mesh for skeleton this one for uh, destination mesh, this one, and for destination uh, skeleton, this one, and number of number of influence just set it to maximum, which is 50, and apply. Now it's ready. As you can see, we have a smooth deformation here and we have no deformer on this geometry. So I'm going to hide this one and back this one to original place. Now I'm going to hide the duplicated skeleton and I'm going to back everything on its original place
Now, I'm going to unhide the cloth and going to front view and vertex and component, component mode. And I'm going to <coughs> grab <coughs> this entire vertices. And while I'm selecting them, I'm going to right click and go to object mode. And I'm selecting this geometry and then this geometry and then go to vertex mode and skin copy skin weight. Now I need to hide this skeleton which is actually the binding skeleton and unhide the other skeleton. As you can see it's beha it behaves like a cloth. Before exporting the geometry, we need uh, to remove the other pelvis that we duplicated and I'm deleting it and selecting the cloth file export selection and let's call it tight cloth and export it. Now here in Unreal I already have this character with animation and I'm going to import the cloth which actually is here and tight cloth and I'm going to select metahuman base skeletal and import now, as you can see, we have imported the cloth. I'm going to this character blueprint and for torso, I'm going to um, assign it the cloth and save. And the, char the character has cloth and let's also make the material double-sided and as you can see the cloth is working the way that expected Thank you for watching.